we'll be looking at Minecraft 1.18 shaders. If you want to have your world look like this, this great lighting and great water effects, all that kind of stuff in there, you're going to have to use a shader pack in your Minecraft world. Now, shader packs are easy to install, but it does require a few steps. Let's take a look at this world here at night. There we go. Get a real good sense of what these shaders will do for your world right there. Just beautiful lighting. Here's the same world without the shader pack. It's a very interesting world. and I'll be showing you how you can download maps like this in an upcoming video. But as you can see, it really lacks a lot of that drama that the shaders add to it. Now, the first thing you need if you're going to be using shaders is you're going to have to install Optifine. And it's easy to get. It's a free download. And these shaders are also free downloads. So let's go ahead and then we'll find Optifine first and I'll walk you through the whole process of doing that so you can get this just dramatic look in here inside of your Minecraft world. I'll be doing this inside of Minecraft Java and a couple things first I have my launcher in the background here there we go and in the foreground I just made a folder on my C drive and I called it shaders just some place to put the shaders in the Optifine pack while I'm getting this thing all set up so I'll be downloading into this location right here. Okay, let me bring up that browser window here we go and here is Optifine. It's just optifine.net. I'll put this link in the description so you don't have to write that down. This gives you a good rundown on all of the different features in here, everything that you can do with Optifine. Just by itself, it's a great thing to have installed on your computer. Even if you're not doing shader packs, you probably want to have this anyway because you can do a lot more with Minecraft with Optifine installed. So let's go up here to Downloads. Right now we're in Optifine HD UH3, and this is for Minecraft 118 right there, the current version as I'm recording this. And go ahead, just click on download. We'll download this into that shaders folder on my C drive. This will first take you to this ad page here. Don't do anything in here, ignore this stuff. Look in the upper right hand corner right here and wait until you see that little button that says skip. Click on that, and here's the actual download button once we're past that ad page. There it is, and we'll click on save and save that to our computer. So that's done. Let's now go back to that folder and we'll install that into Minecraft. There we go. Now notice that this is a jar file. So it's set to automatically install for you into the right location. I'm going to close down the launcher back here. Let's get that out of the way. And then come in here and just double click on this and it's going to then automatically launch this and install it for you. And there we go. It'll go through the process. It's pretty fast to actually install this. There we are. Just click on install and successfully installed. That's done. It's all set to go. Okay, let's now go back to the launcher. Here we go. Now go up here to installations or come down here, click on this little drop down list. There's the Optifine right here. We'll go into installations. We need to be here anyway in just a bit. So there's Optifine. Let's play this and look at a few of the features in here before we begin to get in those shaders. Click on play. And this plays just like regular Minecraft. You'll have access to all of your existing worlds. There we go. This is my custom title page. If you want to find more about this, I have links for that stuff in the description. Come down here to Options. And in here, this all looks the same, of course. The main stuff you're going to be seeing in here is inside of Video Settings right there. Click on that. And in here, you'll have a lot of additional options. You can really control exactly how things look. I normally recommend if you go up here and set your graphics to Fast. And come down here, set your dynamic lights to Fast. We'll be setting everything at the easiest setting just until we test it out make sure it works. You can then come back in and set these back up to Fancy instead of Fast for even better look. Like there's a fabulous setting right there. Okay, for the shaders, you come down here where it says shaders. These are all shaders that I have installed on my system right now. I've tested all of these in Minecraft 118. They all work fine. On the right-hand side over here, this is part of Optifine. You have some quality settings in here. I recommend setting your render quality to 0.5x and your shadow quality to 0.5x and your hand depth to 1x just when you're starting out and make sure that the shader works properly with your system. If it does, you can come back in here and you can set these two higher settings. Now to run a shader, you just click on it and it automatically sets that up. But first, we need to download some shaders. Let's go back here. I'll click on Done, and Done, and Done again. I'll just quit the game, get out of there. We can leave this running. That's fine. We actually need that when we download our shaders. But we'll first put them here. Let's go ahead and download a couple of shaders. First one we're going to is curseforge.com. Let me bring up my browser window for that. Here we go. Click on Minecraft right there. This takes you into the Minecraft section. And right here... Notice that it has Minecraft mod packs, a lot of neat mod packs down here, a lot of great stuff here on CurseForge. But what we want is customization. That's that link right here. Click on that. And you'll then see a lot of your shader packs right down here. If you're looking for shader packs that have been tested in Minecraft 118, check the date right down here. This is updated four days ago. This one actually works. We'll be downloading this one. One above it. 
this works, but it wasn't updated for 118 yet. Notice the last update here is September 22nd. But we'll go ahead and we'll download this one. So right hand side, click on download. Begins in just a few seconds down here. Just let this thing cycle through. Downloading now. And there we go. There's our download link. I'm in my shaders folder again. I'll choose save. And that one is now downloaded. Let's go ahead and we'll back out of here. Another shader I like quite a bit right down here is Silder's Vibrant Shaders. I tend to like Silder's shaders a lot. I use them most of the time. If you scroll down here, there are some more. Another good one here for 118 that I've already tested is the Makeup Ultra Fast. This works out great. Let's download this one. Click on download. Again, same thing. We'll wait those five seconds for the download link. There you go. I'll just download that one. You know, back up again. And we'll get the enhanced default right down here. This is another one of these Silder's packs. Click on download. Go with the five seconds. We'll download that. There we go. Now you can get other shaders also. There are other locations for this. Let me show you another place to go and look. And that's right here, minecraftshader.com. A good site for getting lots of really interesting shaders. We'll just download one from here. Now back up and we'll do this BSL shaders right there. Click on this and scroll down. This site gives you a lot of information in here about the shaders. Just tons and tons of information. Just scroll way down here. Notice that this one is good for 118. It's right there. Keep on scrolling down and way down towards the bottom down here for all these instructions. There you go. Here is the link for this shader. We'll go ahead, we'll click on this one. This brings up this little page right here and then click on the download link. And there we go, choose save. That's now downloaded. Ignore this thing, you can just close out of that and close out of that page. Okay, so there we go. We've now downloaded four different shaders. Let's take a look and see how you install these once you have them downloaded. So we'll go back over to the desktop here and there we go, there's our shaders. Notice that these come down as zip files. So you have to unzip these. If you're working in Windows 10 or 11, it's real easy. Just click on it, right click and extract all and extract. It would then put it into a folder with the same name and just close that window down. Let's do that for all four of those. Come down here, right click, extract all, choose extract, close that, get this one down here, extract all and extract, close that. And our last one right down here, extract all and extract and close that down. Okay, so they're all up here now. It's those four files. We now need to get these into the game and that's easy to do. Let's go back here to the launcher or on the installations page Go over here with that folder icon. It doesn't matter which one of these folders you grab, they all go to the same place. Just go to folder icon, right hand side, click on that. It opens up your Minecraft folder here. Now go right here where it says shader packs, open that up. I already have mine in here, but all you have to do is just to drag those over. So I'm just going to select all these, just drag them over like that. It's gonna ask me to copy on top of those things, which we'll do. I'll replace all those files, that's fine. And there we go, we now have the shaders inside of the shader packs folder. Get that out of the way. We can now run the game and see how these look. Now again, this is inside of the Optifine, so make sure you click on the Optifine version, choose play, and we'll then load this game in. Here's my custom title screen, but right now let's go down here, it says options, click into this, and right here it says video settings, click into there, and then down here, click into shaders. And here we go, there's the shaders that I have installed, including the ones we downloaded, there's a BSL, there's a complimentary, there's the makeup, and here's our Silder's shaders right down here. This, uh, no options are available right now because this is set to off. If you want to see your options and make changes, just choose a shader. Now, it's not going to click or anything. When I click on this, it's just going to load that in. And as soon as you see that, it's then loaded in. Notice now we have our options on the right-hand side. And as I mentioned before, I recommend setting the render quality and the shadow quality both to 0.5 when you're first starting out to make sure that the shader runs properly. You can increase the quality if everything seems to be working out fine. Each one of these shaders also has additional options that the shader comes with right here. These are the options here for the BSL shader. Let's see how this looks with just the vanilla look. I'll click on done, done again, and done. Single player. And I'll use my standard world right up here. And there we go. Here's the BSL shaders. Notice that the lights look nice. You can really see through the water on this one. It's real transparent. You can get some water effects right over there. But it's a little bit hazy. We do have our real nice natural clouds. Now one of the nice things about shaders and running Optifine is you can change your shaders very quickly and easily without going too far out of your game. Click on the escape key. Go into options. Back into video settings right here. Back down to shaders and then choose another shader. Let's take a look at this complimentary shader right here. Again, click it and give it a moment to load. You'll see that black bar will move down as soon as that is loaded in. There it is. I'll leave all these at the defaults. Click on done. Done again. Done. Back to game. And here we go. There's that complimentary shaders. 
a little more reflections on the water. I think things are just a bit brighter. Kind of a nice glow effect on those lamps and it's not quite as foggy in here. Let's look at another one of our shaders, escape key, options, video settings, shaders. And we'll check out this makeup ultra fast right here and done and work our way back into the game again. There we go. Some real nice water effects, but the water is again, very transparent on this one. Nice water effects, very clear looking. It's not quite as yellowy as some of the other ones. The clouds look great. This has really nice looking clouds in it. So that shader is working very good. Let's look at these cylinders. Those are my personal favorites. Just back out here and go back into our shaders again. Right down here. We'll look at this fancy at the top and choose done. And again, back into the game. There we go. Real bright orange look in this one. The lamps do real nice glow. This is a good one for nighttime. Notice that there are very few water ripple effects. There's a little bit in there, but not much. It looks a bit more like the normal water we have in Minecraft. Just a little bit of movement on that. Notice that the bushes are moving a little bit in the background. That's good. Sildurus has several different shaders though, which is a real nice benefit. You can choose which one works best for you. Let's go back again to the shaders right here. And we'll look at the extreme right down below. This one's a little bit newer. Notice it's a 1.31 instead of a 1.13. So a little bit newer. Click on done, done, and back into the game. There we go. This one is not as orange looking. Real nice glow on the lights. Better shadows this time. And the water is not as transparent, but there's a lot more of that water effect. I personally really like how these shaders look. I think they're great shaders for working with or playing in Minecraft. Now, one problem with Minecraft is you need to have a computer that can handle this much processing. If things begin to lag on you a little bit, if it's feeling a little bit slow, you may need to try a different shader that's not as intense on your computer hardware. And Silders actually has one of those. Let me just go back out one last little look here. Options, video settings, shaders, and right here, they have one called 1.31 Lite. Now, I didn't show you this in the download links. If you want to find all of the different Silders versions, just do a search for Silders shaders and you'll find those. Okay, choose done, 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 and back to game. And here we go. This is a real lightweight shader. Notice we do have that glow on those lamps. That looks good. We do have movement on the bush. You can see it right there. Have real nice reflections happening on the water. All that is there. But this is a real small shader that works in less than powerful computers. So if you're having problems with the shaders you're trying, they're not working for you, you might want to try this shader and see if this will work out. I think this is probably the best one out there for less than powerful computers. And I'll see you next time.